when we built the post and beam bar, we decided to go with a concrete floor for easy cleaning. And then with our really bad cold weather and the dampness and the moisture we can get, we didn't want to go with the dirt floor for that reason. But right now we're not loving the concrete floor with the goat's urine. Sucking it well, into the concrete. I don't think it's an issue yet, but I feel like it could be an issue. So right. I'm trying to get ahead of it. And, and we, so we decided that we're going to do yep. some rubber stall mats. And also, we think that will help, um, we'll help with heating. Keep right, it. help keep them warmer so they're not in concrete all the time. And it should help keep well, that's warm. not an issue yet, but it's kind of easy. Right, once winter comes, it'll help keep them warmer in the wintertime without keeping the concrete floor in the cold weather. And it should help keep the urine from absorbing into the concrete. So today we're going to install some rubber mats. <laughs> Which we were trying not to do, but right, we, we were, decided that. We, were, we tried to see if it would work without the rubber mats, but after, what has it been? We've been there about a month now? Ish. We decided we need the rubber mats. So today we're going to put the rubber mats down. We ended up getting eight of them, so we got to cut them up a little bit. And I'll show you how we do that. So. We're gonna clean out, cleaning out the stalls now. We're gonna put some PDZ down and some lime under the mats, just a thin layer. So if any urine goes through the mats, it'll absorb it and it'll keep the smell out. And then we'll try, we'll take the mats out. Yeah, you we'll know, do like a spring cleaning once or twice a year. Take yeah. the mats out, clean the concrete floor underneath, and then put more lime down and PDZ and one, once to twice a year, depending on what we think it needs. Well, if I can get out by myself, I'm gonna do it more. Are you? So I want to start by taking out my legs for now. We'll put these back on after. So I guess we're not sure if we made a mistake going with the concrete floors or what. We would have went with a dirt floor. It would have been hard to do it with our climate, so. I gotta get under there. <sighs> that went a lot better than I thought it was going to. What are you doing? The mat's gonna be able to slide under those legs. Yeah. So I had to cut off three quarters of an inch ish. Then those ones were cut back after. Alright, so these mats are four. So this one's gonna need to be 43, let's go 43 and a quarter. What's that? Heavy. They are heavy. Adjust our depth.
Ay. One down. I just wanted to make sure that's what that was. Then we need to go 42 and a half. Okay. I want to sprinkle down a little bit of lime. It's a natural deodorizer. Have this down. I'm hoping it'll help me slide the mats around too a little bit. Just want to trim off some trim work right here. I hope you ate your Wheaties. I, probably not, and I'm getting like an instant answer. Side's gotta go up against the wall.
fold sheet, fold sheet, drag it out, it let it hang a little bit more. And then we can I like it. Forty-two and three quarter. Forty-two, five eight. So let's go forty-two and five eighths. Be tight. I like it. Last puzzle piece for the stall. We can cut that one down to ten and a half. Ten and a half. Alright, now we can stick these back in. Don't know who's gonna be more spoiled, us or our goats. One stall's done. That's ready for mat, so you're just gonna give it a final sweep. This is the mat we need. Just gotta figure out what side it's cut. It's raining, uh-oh. So, we wanna go just like this. It's getting windy. Get one full one. The full one can go here.
go get it. Even if we have to bend this corner. There might be something that's wrong there. There we go. It's a nice tight fit. That's good. So 42 and a quarter. And six feet will bring us to here. So then, yep. So I'll actually have one mat left over. Ugh. <laughs> as soon as it does that, you can't move it. Now we just need to slide it. It's gonna be the fun part. <laughs> Grab the screw gun. Just hard on the saw. She ain't liking it. This is the last one. You did your part.
That helped. Helped us some moving. Check out your little spot. Oh, look at that. Perfect fit. Wow. Be a little bit tighter, but that's awesome. Don't ask me how I cut it. Don't ask you how you cut it. Why not? I won't tell you. How'd you do it? I can't tell you. You, you can't tell me. You're probably mad. Uh oh. I think they might have been hook What? I think they might have been the clippers. Oh, the goat clippers? Yeah. Might have been that. The hoof trimmers? This is it. Hook this up and we're done. We just made a nice clean floor and now we gotta make it dirty. Yeah. Cover it up. Now we can put down some shavings. One of the issues that we were having is, is with the concrete floor, we were finding that the barn smell was a lot stronger than it was in our old barn that had a gravel floor. We tried it this way for about a month, month and a half, and we couldn't seem to get anything to work. Whether we used lime or the PDZ, a lot of straw, a lot of wood shavings, we always had that smell. It's been a few days now since we've had the rubber mat in the barn, and I'll tell you what, that has made a huge difference. The bedding is just as soiled as it was when we had the concrete floor versus the new rubber mats, but we don't have the smell like we were having. So I don't know what causes that. I don't know if the concrete holds that smell and then lets it loose. I'm not 100% sure and it all doesn't make that much sense to me. When we were designing the barn and trying to figure out if we were going to go with gravel versus a concrete floor, a couple of things came to mind is we live in a very cold climate and we can have extremely long winters and I wanted something that we could clean out regular where with a gravel floor if they start urinating on the straw or the bedding and it freezes to the gravel when you're trying to take that out in the winter you you can dig up huge trunks of gravel dirt and you're losing that out of your floor this way with the concrete floor we could scrape right on the concrete and clean it up throughout the winter if we were building the barn with gravel floors, we would have had it done a four foot deep frost wall. And that's nothing I could have done myself. The way we built our barn, we did a floating slab that I was able to build by myself. And then longevity wise, I was thinking, I'm thinking that a concrete floor is gonna last longer than gravel. So let me know what your thoughts are on it. All the books and everything I was reading on gravel versus concrete, it was like a 50-50 toss up. Right now, I'm extremely happy with adding the rubber mats. I think that's going to solve our mistake, whatever you want to call it, but I'm glad we did it. And whether you have a gravel or concrete floor, I think these rubber mats are really good. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.